disappointed. He's got Carmen now. No, he hasn't. Yes, he has. Carmen's got it. He doesn't know what to do. He's straight to something. Taken by Wearmouth. Hamble and turn goes out to Gordon. Who gave the handle and turn towards Wayne Richardson in the centre. Half forward line now for the Magpies. Almost a full four towards Moore. Third quarter. Up it goes. No, no mark to Wayne Richardson. There we see Wearmouth having a bit of trouble picking it up. He's got it now at half back. Going to drive the ball down. He's put over the line as he's looking there to find a teammate down there on the floor. He's knocked out by Thompson. Pushed away by Dunn. Taken away from Sutton as a go for Wearmouth. Down it goes towards the half forward line. There's a race going for the ball. In the air, Walker one to Mark. 
Magro's there for Collingwood. Down the ground. Half forward and taken by Weirmouth. His first kick for the grand final replay. Out towards Barham. Barham can play on. Center wing. Long handball goes out towards Manassa. Manassa's got a heap of territory to play in. Hamble and turn goes to Ray Shaw. Shaw is wrong boot. Hamble and turn goes back towards Renee King. A beautiful hand pass over to Shimabus. It's dangerous. Oh, it's a bad kick. Weirmouth couldn't pick it up. Oh, beautiful recovery by Weirmouth. The hand pass back to Thompson. Another one back to Max Rich. He's going to go for the long kick. It's up into the goal square. Collingwood are wearing the white pants in North Melbourne, the darker shorts. Uh, towards the half-back line again for North Melbourne and Barham to drive the Magpies back into attack. North Melbourne are seven, Collingwood are one. Barham, about 55 metres out from goal, as you can see, almost on the boundary line. This will land oh, for a short pass to Weirmouth. Oh, well, he dropped it. Well, Wearmouth is within scoring distance, but again, the Magpies attacking pretty uh, dangerously. Short pass again, it's come off. And Wayne Richardson, the former Collingwood skipper, his first kick for the game and directly in front. Well, I was about to say that the Collingwood side were attacking uh, rather strangely right around the boundary line. Pretty hard to score goals from there. But eventually, Wayne Richardson lining up almost directly in front, 30 metres out. Should put it through. Lines up. Bangs for goal. And the Magpies first is on the board. Score to level. Seven minutes of play in the first quarter. Seven points apiece. And win by Dents. Grabbed by Magro. He's in trouble. He's down. Wearmouth trying to get clear. But they're tackling pretty hard, the North Melbourne defence. Hand pass coming out now to Anderson. A snap for goal. What's the result? Rene Kink. Couldn't quite grab it, though, and turned by Twicky Dunn. Here's the chance for Wearmouth. Can the Magpies get something going here? Wearmouth streaming goalwards. Goes for the handball. Could be dangerous. Taken and turned by Manessa. Manessa down towards 4-4 to Moore. Goes towards Gary Cowton. Cowton for North Bowen. Back towards the centre wing. Casting your chance if you're quick enough and whistle on play. It's going to be a free kick to Billy Picken. One of his few touches. He's been thrashed to date by uh, Stephen Ick. And a hand pass coming over there to Anders. Got a clear run here. This fellow can really go. And he boots the oh, shocking kick down there. But it's a good pass. Oh. When I say a good pass, I think it was more accident, uh, more good luck than uh, good judgment. And uh, now we see Wearmouth only about 45 metres out from goal directly in front. And believe you me, the Magpies need a goal. What's he done with it? He's put it through. It's a goal. So we see Collingwood go to four goals, five, 28. For North Melbourne, 6, 10, 46. Put it by Elves. Back towards centre half forward, Thompson lurking there over the back. The chance of Worthington taken by Thompson. Threads the handball to Andrew Island. He's off towards the centre. He can run towards the half forward line. Goes for the handball and turn towards Wearmouth. Wearmouth in turn goes towards half forward towards Barham. In trouble, Ricky Barham. Lines up from 15 metres out. In towards Twiggy Dunn. Can't grab it this occasion. It's going to be played to Twiggy Dunn. Craig Gumbelin looks in bewilderment and Ron Barassi says, What on earth for? Got yeah. his Twiggy Dunn's kick. And the Magpies, who've been outplayed completely in this first half, are getting back into this grand final replay. Almost an identical spot from the last goal that Twiggy Dunn kicked. He's put it through again. That's his second. And by golly. Well, he drew the game last week. Let's watch it again. Down towards Dunn it goes. The mark wasn't there. Gumbledon came in front on. And that's where the free kick was applied. It was there. Shaw at the back. Go with a punch. Once again, Henshaw takes it back towards centre field. Picked up nicely by Gordon. He's clear. Hand pass back. Back towards Ireland. He can't. He's got it now. Back towards Wearmouth. And Collingwood starting to look a lot better. Free kick. Free kick to Wearmouth. Collingwood supporters really coming to life. Got to get it up there to Moore if we can. Up she goes. Oh, Twiggy done nearly got it as a go now for Moore to get clear. Hand pass back. And a go for Byron. A shot. It's a go. Oh. And they're back in business for make fives. That's his first goal. Only 11 points the difference. Only 11 points the difference. At one stage, North Melbourne were in front by... 36 points and the Magpies starting to play the football they should play running on and running on and now there we see that there's Dunn dropping the ball and Moore going through good thinking on the part of Moore as he gets it over to Barham 
settled himself down well and put it through. And what a game this is turning out to be, the 1977 Grand Final replay. Only goes. Bad kick there by Peck and Oles. are under plenty of pressure. Well done, Manassa. Out it to, goes to Weirmouth. Weirmouth down towards Paul Ford. Moore sets himself. Wing Twinkie Dunn. Also, Sean Bush first there. Set a wing out of sight. Well done, Magro. Hamilton turn goes back towards Barham. Can he collect it? Cleverly done across to Manassa. Manassa long handball to Weirmouth. Magpie's dangerous. Weirmouth can pump it in towards Paul Ford. Short pass by Weirmouth to Vinny to Renee Kink. North Melbourne lead by 14 points. 87 to 73. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. By golly, the press is here as fantastic as it goes out now to Mark to Manassa. Oh, and he played on, but now he's right. He's got his balance. Hand pass over to Hyde on his own. He'll drive the ball well over the half forward line looking for Weirmouth, and he's got the mark. Collingwood starting to look a bit dangerous as the ball goes right up towards their full forward zone. Moore coming out. Couldn't hold the mark. Down she comes to Shaw. Little fella's going to have a pot shot for the goal. Renee Kink and Sutton battling for it. Richardson, he's in trouble, but he's clear. Quickly plays on a short pass, but it's a bad... No, it's OK. Weirmouth's got it OK. Weirmouth clear. There's a dangerous hand pass coming out to Anderson. Will it bounce all right for him? He's got it. Henshaw, can he break clear? Handball goes to Blight. Five and a half back line towards the center wing. Taken by Weirmouth. Chance to make pies now. Weirmouth streaming goalwards. Short pass to Beauty. And Anderson will line for goal from only about 25 metres out. Well, can the Magpies come back? They did in the second quarter. In the last uh, five or six minutes of the second quarter, they kicked about three quick goals, and that's what they badly need right now. Anderson lining up, not too reliable from a standing start. A beautiful kick on the run, but he's put this one through, I think. Yes, the game's not over, that's for sure. Collingwood moved to 12-7 in 1924. 138, Magpies 18-9. 117, 23 minutes of play in the final quarter, and Brassie looks pretty happy. Ball back into play again, out there towards centre half four. The ball pushed out of Weirmouth, he's grabbed, and a free kick to Weirmouth. That's centre half back for Collingwood. Little Rover looks tired as he boots the ball, doesn't gather much distance that time. Punched away by Gumbelin, grabbed by Gordon, he's grabbed, he's clear now. Hand pass coming out of Little Bond, doing his best to try, push in the back. Push in the back of the ball, a little bit stiff that time, Count, because the little fella fell off. Oh, oh now he's not, could lose the ball here. They want to do anything foolish now, they're going to have any chance of winning it. He's at centre half forward, a good uh, 70 metres out. He's got to get it up there on the end of Moore if he can, but he's surrounded by North Melbourne players. Up it comes now, the big fella in the middle of the pack. Forward zone. Moore's got his hands, but couldn't hold the mark. The ball pushed down again. Here's a go now. Up for Collingwood to get the ball back through Bond. Over to Weirmouth. Weirmouth's grabbed. Over to Shaw. Hooks the ball back towards the 